Hello, this is Conrad with Crypto Loops. Today I wanted to give a quick recap over some of the information that was disclosed in the May 2021 Cardano 360 event. This month, Cardano 360 covered the Alonzo Roadmap, Marlowe Run, SingularityNet, and the ERC20 Converter, and Hydra. Lastly, I would recommend watching the original video. The video is just under two hours long, but in the case that you don't have time, we will try to condense it down for you. Also, down in the description below, we will have a link to the original video that IOHK released. But first, I want to let you guys know about the like and subscribe button down below. They are free and help out the channel so that we can continue to keep you in the loop with all your favorite crypto and Cardano content. One development that we have been eagerly awaiting is the Alonzo hard fork, when smart contract functions will be available on the Cardano blockchain. During the Cardano 360 event, we were shown the 30, 60, and 90 day timeline for the rollout of Alonzo. It begins with Alonzo Blue and goes all the way to Alonzo Black. In this infographic, we can see the planned timeline for the release of Alonzo's mainnet. This timeline has changed a small bit from the previously planned release at the beginning of August, which is a bit disappointing, but as I have always said, Cardano doesn't really rush out their advancements and updates, and this allows for a better overall project though we will go through the phases really quickly. Alonzo Blue is the first stage of the testnet, where there will be a small cohort of Plutus partners with a core group of single pool operators or SPOs. They will be laying the groundwork for Alonzo White by testing the Alonzo fork and using simple Plutus scripts to test and execute on chain. Alonzo White is the next stage in the Alonzo rollout plan, where Blue had a smaller group White increases the size of the cohort and SPO group. In this phase, there are more performance benchmarks to test the functionality and stability of the network, and instead of just simple Plutus script, partners and pioneers will start running their scripts and benchmark basic dApps. Next up is Alonzo Purple. Purple will have a significant increase in users. It will include all pioneers, most if not all SPOs, and exchanges. This stage will benchmark stability with scale and the user load. Purple is a full public testnet with all 1,500 pioneers onboarded and partners dApps. There are Alonzo Red and Black, but the important stage is Purple, or the full public testnet. Once we get to Purple, we are really close to the Hard Fork Combinator event. Again, this is great that we are being kept in the loop on Cardano's developments, and again, this does look like it's going to be delayed a month or so but this is most certainly for the best for the project. For those who are around for the Shelly testnet or the Gogan release, we understand the eagerness of wanting to see the next development released ASAP, but when we've seen the product released, it has been worth it every time. During May's Cardano 360, we were shown more information on Marlowe. For those who are hearing of Marlowe for the first time, Marlowe is a product suite based on domain-specific languages that are meant to streamline financial contracts. With Marlowe, one can make a smart contract using programming languages such as JavaScript or Haskell. But what makes Marlowe fantastic is that if you don't know a programming language, you can still make a contract using Blockly. Blockly allows you to literally put contracts together like a jigsaw puzzle. Along with the theme of making financial contracts easier for those who don't program, Marlowe is safer as some errors are impossible to make due to how the language has been written. Now we were shown Marlowe Run and a demo of Marlowe Run. One of the developments that will make many happy is Marlowe will provide off-the-shelf financial contracts. What this means is that if you want to make some of the most basic financial contracts, all you will have to do is use one of the pre-made contracts and fill in the blanks. Now let's look at the Marlowe Run demo and again I will have a link to the original video down below. Marlowe Run runs directly in the browser. We are able to see what contracts we have running and in the video we are able to see that on the left Trudy has no contracts and on the right Charles has no contracts but we will be able to see how the interface works between both of them. Trudy will be making a zero coupon bond or better known as a loan. As you can see, it is a fill in the blank system and quite easy to follow. 
The loan will be 1 ADA and the repayment will be 1.1 ADA. Keep in mind that 1 ADA is equal to 1 million Lovelace. Now you can see the contract has appeared on both Shruti and Charles's screen. As we can see, Shruti needs to deposit 1 ADA so it can be loaned to Charles. Now there is an action that Charles has to do, and her screen shows that she is waiting for Charles to complete step 2, which is the loan repayment. Now you can see that the loan slash contract has been completed. Next up is Singularity Net. Now, I won't spend a ton of time on this as we have covered SingularityNet's plans for migrating from Ethereum to Cardano, or at least offering users the ability to migrate for quite a while now. Though we got to hear from Jan Horlings, the VP of product at SingularityNet, he talked about how the gas fees on Ethereum were a factor in deciding to migrate to Cardano. He continues to state that speed, reliability, the Cardano community, and the foundation in Plutus were all factors in the decision to migrate. Another topic that was covered was the ERC20 converter. Now this does exactly what it sounds like. It allows developers and users to convert their ERC20 tokens on the Ethereum network over to the Cardano network. One token that is undergoing this process is a project we have previously talked about, SingularityNet. How this process works, in the example of SingularityNet, whose ticker is AGI, is that by using the ERC20 converter, users can lock their AGI on Ethereum and mint the tokens on Cardano. This allows for a one-to-one -one conversion of the token. If users want to transition their tokens back to Ethereum, they can burn the AGIX on Cardano and unlock their AGI on Ethereum. Here is a demo slash preview of the process. First, you must connect your MetaMask wallet or other wallet shown. And then you need to connect your Cardano wallet. Once you have done this, you can now migrate your AGI from Ethereum to Cardano. Now you can go to the transaction section and see the transactions progress on both the Ethereum and Cardano blockchain. The ERC20 converter is expected to be on the testnet in June. The last topic is Hydra. We recently held a poll and we're working on producing a What is Hydra video, so stay tuned for that. Hydra is a scaling solution for Cardano's blockchain. Manuel explains the problem through this quote. Generally speaking, public blockchains have a limited capacity to process transactions. This is true of the number of transactions they can process per second, and also true in terms of the size of transaction. This is because all of these transactions are stored on the blockchain and have to be downloaded by others. He explains Hydra and its development by saying, Specifically, Hydra is a Layer 2 solution, which means, instead of modifying the actual Layer 1 blockchain, it will be implemented using a Plutus smart contract. The advantage of that is twofold. We can develop more quickly, and we won't have to change the security sensitive parts of the blockchain. Overall, and in short, Hydra is a second layer scaling solution that is built on Cardano's first layer, the blockchain. Finally, I also wanted to let you all know that we now have a pool up and running. If you like what we are doing here and want to delegate your ADA with us at Loops Pool, it would be highly appreciated and it is a great way to keep us up and running while you earn ADA as well. Again, thank you guys very much for watching all the way to the end. Down below, I'll have a link to IOHK's video as well as links to our social medias. If you want to keep in the loop with crypto or crypto loops, then subscribe and hit the bell notification down below. Finally, if you find this content is helpful and want to help out the channel more, there are links as well as crypto addresses down below for ways to support us, and I will see you guys in the next video.